Recent Connection utilizes interactive connection modeling and visualization, including 2D and 3D views, for the creation and design of a variety of steel connections. In this video, we'll take a look at the integration between Risa 3D and Risa Connection for the design of steel connections for a larger 3D model. Before we go ahead and get started, let's first go up to the Settings tab here in Risa 3D. And on the Codes tab, we can see that we have a code defined for Hot World Steel and also one that we can define for our steel connections. And so we're going to make sure that these two match. And this is the code that we're going to use when we send our steel connections defined in our model into Risa Connection. Go ahead and close that out. The next thing we want to do is we need to define or look at our connection rules. So connection rules are basically the groups of connections that exist in Risa Connection that we could use to define a connection in Risa 3D. And so you can see here the label. This can be anything we want, but these are the predefined ones that we have. We also have five different connection types, shear, moment, brace, base plate, and truss. And then we have the type itself. So these are the types of connections that are able to be selected in Risa Connection, and we would go ahead and pick one of those types. And then we can choose whether we want to uh, define the beam or column to girder connection specifically. So it could be a bolted or a welded connection. And this allows us here to say, hey, I want to define a column beam clip angle connection that's bolted at the beam and another one that's welded at the beam, for instance. And so you can have multiples or you can create your own groupings of connections. You might want to create a connection that is specifically for W10 members or W12 members. It's really up to you. You can create as many connections in this rule list as you want. Once you have those rules created, though, we need to define those rules on individual members. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on our connection rules. So let's say connection rules here. And so these are the connection rules that I've already defined. And so you can see here we've got a few. We've got our column beam direct weld moment connections over here. We've got some girder to beam single angle shear connections here. I've got some base plate connections. And if I go ahead and select a member here, we can see that in the Risa connection properties, under the properties tab, we can see the type of connection we defined. So in this particular case, we're going to define either end of this beam has a column to beam shear tab shear connection. Now, once our connections are defined, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and look at our load combinations. So back on the home tab here, I'm going to click load combinations. So we have our combinations that are set here. These are just our combinations that we're going to solve for the Risa 3D model. But if we go ahead and click on the design tab here, we can see that not only do we have options for the different materials, but also an option for connection. These are the load combinations that are going to be designed and then sent to Risa Connection so that we can use those load combinations when designing the connection. And so here I'm going to turn off our deflection uh, can, uh, load combinations because we don't really need those. We just want those LRFD connection combinations here. So I have those on. So the next thing I'm going to do, uh, because we're essentially at this point ready to go, I'm going to run a batch and envelope solution. So let's go ahead and just solve that batch and envelope solution, and we'll have our results. So now that we have our results here in Risa 3D, we can go ahead and use the director tool to transfer our model into Risa Connection. So I'm going to use the director. We'll save our model. And then Risa Connection should automatically launch here. So the first thing that we'll notice when we launch into Risa Connection is that we have five groups of connections. These are based on the five design rules that we set uh, on given members in the model. And so we can see that we've got um, you know, our chevron brace. We've got our column to beam direct angle moment connection. We've got our shear tabs, both in our double angle connection. And then we've got our base plate connection. And so if I select one of these groups, we can see all of the different connections that exist in that given group, for instance. If we go back into the full model, we can maybe look at uh, one of the other connections to see the information here. Now, if we want to dial into an individual connection, uh, we can. We can go ahead and click on that individual connection to see that pop up. Or back in the group, if we needed to make a change to all of the members or all of the grouped connections at the same time, we could stay selected on the group. And then we could come down here to, for instance, say the beam bolts and say, OK, I want to make these beam bolts, uh, let's say, five bolts. Now, that may not work because of the geometry restrictions here, but we could go ahead and make that change to the entirety of uh, the grouping at the same time. 
Now you'll also notice if we select one member here, we can see the load combinations that we brought in. So these are all the load combinations that are available and you can see that grayed out are the loading that's coming directly from the model. So the shear load, the axial load, the column force, all those different moments and uh, axial and shear forces are coming directly from uh, the Risa 3D model. Now there are a few different ways to actually analyze the project. So we can either solve the entire project, we could solve a single group, or we can solve a single connection. To start here, I'm gonna go ahead and just solve the entire project. So it's gonna go ahead and check all of the different connections. If we go ahead and click back on one of those same members, we can see now that the load combinations should change. So we're, we're seeing a different controlling load combination. It's not just the first load combination that was presented. Uh, we actually, the software will actually find the controlling load combination from the envelope and use those loads to do our checks, uh, our limit state checks. Now at this point, we might need to make some additional changes, um, but in this particular situation, we can see that most of our Unity checks have passed. Um, we have one that's gonna fail in this Chevron brace, but we're actually gonna keep this as a failure because I wanna show you what that looks like when we bring that back into Risa 3D. So at this point, maybe we'll say we're done doing the design in Risa Connection, and I wanna export the results back into Risa 3D. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this Export Risa 3D Risa Floor. Obviously, we're not showing the connection with Risa Floor, but you could also define shear, cap, uh, shear connections in Risa Floor to have those come across into Risa, 3, uh, Risa Connection as well. And so let's go ahead and click Export. It's gonna save the file. And then if we launch back into Risa 3D here, the first thing we're presented with is our connection design results. And so we can see here the connection rule that we're using, the member end, whether we're passing or failing, what's the maximum unity check, the governing load combination based on the load combinations we set in the model here, and then the limit state. Now, if we scroll down and we see the failure, we can see that Chevron brace here is failing, and it's telling us exactly why it's failing. So it's failing based on beam weld limitations. And so obviously we can go back into recent connection and fix that if we need to. The last thing though we wanna show is we can show these results graphically as well. So if I go ahead and click on our labels here and choose connection results, and then I go ahead and click on my coloration and show connection results, we can see here the unity checks for those defined connections. So we can see all the ones in green that are passing and then a failure here for uh, the beam weld limitations on the Chevron brace that are failing. And so we could iteratively work back and forth if we need to, um, or we could go ahead and uh, you know, complete the design with the uh, reports. For more information about Risa Connection, including integration, as well as other new features, please visit risa.com.